So what exactly a 4D CT means, right? You combine three X's, three X's with the perfusion component is what a 4D CT is, right? So, so uh, you are taking one non-contrast arterial and venous. The delay for the venous is somewhere, somewhere around 80 seconds. But why do we want to do that? Why do, don't we just like do a simple brain contrast imaging? And what is your ROI? You have to tell me what is the ROI, what, what is the region of interest for imaging of parathyroid and why? Put up your answers. So the answer lies here. The, the parathyroids are very commonly located. They have very common ectopic locations, not just the utopic location, but ectopic location. They can be located in the neck, in the paraesophageal location, in the retroesophageal location, anterior or posterior to the tracheoesophageal grooves, right? That is why your ROI is big. It extends from the angle of the mandible up to the bifurcation of the trachea, right? So your ROI is big in cases of parathyroid. It just does not involve the neck. Secondarily, why do we want to image it like this? So we want to image it like this because the parathyroids uh, and have very lot of lot of mimickers surrounding them. Parathyroids have adjacent lymph nodes, then they can be embedded within the thyroid. And if we take just one phase and they're enhancing similar to the surrounding tissue, we will not be able to give a conclusive report that whether you are seeing a parathyroid or you are seeing a lymph node, right? So what you want to do is you want to phase it, you want to take it into different phases and see the enhancement pattern, right? Just like this, you see a lesion over here, right? And it enhances. Now it enhances like the thyroids. So you might say that it is very similar. It might be like a an exo exostrophic or an ex exophytic protrusion of a thyroid nodule, right? But then you take a delayed phase and you see it is not as enhancing. Now it is started showing a differential pattern of enhancement as compared to the thyroid, right?